Hey, what's going on everybody? Melomatic here, checking out a new survival game by the name of Among Trees. This is an early access on the Epic Store. I just found out about it. Thank you, Raptor, for bringing my attention to this awesome looking game. Now you can see in the bottom right, uh, this is an early access version, so uh, major bugs and possibly lacking content. But more content will be added in the future, so that's good. We're gonna jump into a new game. I did play a little bit just to kind of get familiar. We're gonna go standard, we're gonna go normal, get a little bit of a challenge, because I love survival games, so that's, you know, I like uh, the well-roundedness of challenge and survival and freaking building stuff. So, by the previews of this game, like, honestly, normally when I see these kinds of graphics, I don't really pay too much attention, because it's not usually in the genre I like. It's usually some kind of platformer or something, but... I'll admit I was wrong in this case because it actually is really legit looking, dude. Check this out. So this is where we're starting out. I don't know if uh, in the future we'll be able to move, like build a base somewhere else, but this is what we start with. So right here we gotta repair this cabin to actually have a base. We're gonna note what we need. We need fur planks and sticks. We're gonna go check that out around here. We should have what we need. So let's see, let's pick this crap up. Picking up some uh, mushrooms and beets for food. We're just going to grab everything we need. So, bottom right, got all our typical stats for survival stuff. Uh, except for, like, hydration. That's not a separate one. I think that just falls into overall, like, stomach uh, volume. So, you see our stomach. Uh, the left one, I'm not too sure what that is. Temperature, I'm assuming. Uh, overall health on the bottom with the heart. And then uh, exhaustion. Or stamina, or not stamina, but exhaustion or whatever, tiredness. Let's see, I got uh, three sticks, three planks. I need still quite a bit. So it starts you off in this little area. And uh, you just gather resources like, like any uh, typical survival game. But there are animals too. I've seen uh, just kind of in the few minutes I've played... There's been rabbits. I did stumble on a bear, but I didn't approach him because I have no kind of <laughs> defense. But dude, this is actually really cool. Like I said, I usually kind of... Uh, I don't uh, I don't really even look on the Epic Store that often, so... This game caught me by surprise. I wasn't sure... I didn't know there was like any decent upcoming survival games. And honestly, playing this one a little bit... So far, what they have, like, on a on early access and how it runs, like, I'm pretty impressed. I gotta admit. And you'll see once we get the, the base built up. I don't know, if is it lagging? I hope it's not lagging. It kinda, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a glitch here and there, but I don't know if it's just me. But yeah, you'll see once we build the base up a little bit, you'll see how, how nice it looks on the inside. Even, like, nighttime looks really cool. I'm just grabbing literally everything I can. It kind of highlights it for you, which is actually kind of nice. Let's see. So we got enough planks. I just need more sticks. So let's venture out a little bit. We should be able to find some more. Oh, there's like a little campground over here or something. I got to say, sound effects and uh, noise, music, all that stuff, pretty legit already. So we got some kind of like tower here that's been destroyed, but there's supplies gathered all the way, all um, scattered around. We'll get that. Uh, controls so far, co controls all typical, all good. Tab for your inventory, and then over here you got like outfits and backpacks. So I'm not sure what this is about. Why there's multiple tabs? I guess you can collect or craft outfits at some point. Same with like, I guess backpacks. Maybe upgrading or just customizing in general. Get a little pile of stuff here. Oh, I meant to grab that. There's a little bit of a difference in, like, when you're searching stuff, like, looting stuff. Like, you just saw that little screen that pops up. But it's not, like, bad. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you pop into a new game like this, it's, it's uh, a little clunky or a little odd with controls and stuff. I mean, and typically with Epic, they usually have pretty solid 
developers on, you know what I mean? And usually by the time they have early access out, they got stuff pretty, like running pretty well. I'm excited to see what they, what else they add in this game, though. Oh, my inventory is full already. Crap. And I need sticks still. Uh, let me go see how many I got. So I got five. I think you can stack ten sticks in one stack, so I need to find sticks. Oh, and you'll notice, like, right there, look, it marks our little base. That's amazing, because there's no compass, and as far as I know, there's no map, at least yet. You do find paper, though. You can find paper when you're, like, scavenging, so I'm assuming maybe you can make a map at some point. You can see when I sprint, there's a little stamina bar that pops up. Kind of in the center of the screen right there. Dude, where's all the sticks, man? I need freaking sticks. I can't get that inventory full. Once we get our, like, base built, or uh, the cabin kind of built to that first level, uh, we'll have a storage spot in there. I'm, dude, how are we not finding sticks? That's ridiculous. We should find some anytime now. We're going to just, like, walk around. Let's just admire this, though. Like, look at the scenery. The music's just do this. It's chill. It's chill. This is more of a like, like a surreal, environmental kind of survival game where it's not, you know, not zombies or robots or anything. Like the only, the only danger comes from like animals and just natural environmental kind of challenges. Kind of to immerse you, I guess, in like a, a form of nature. I like it. I like it a lot. I look forward to uh, playing more of this. I'm definitely going to do, you know, a little bit. We'll do as much as we can in this first video. Probably a little bit less editing just to kind of see everything and get the gist of uh, what's going on. Some of you that might want to watch and maybe not even necessarily play it yet. And then uh, future videos, I'll probably... Okay, we had enough sticks. Let's go back. Future videos, I'll probably cut out a little bit. Make sure there's no freaking bears. I don't know what happens when you die. I haven't had that problem yet. That hasn't come up. Oh, I'm actually hungry. Uh, can I eat? Ooh, chance of poison. Eating raw. That's probably not a good idea. I think these ones are safe right here. Yeah, we can eat these. Get our stomach filled up a little bit. Alright, cool. So let's uh let's build. Okay, now we can sleep, save our progress and store some stuff and uh, we'll be able to gather supplies to add on a cooking room, crafting room and a storage attic. So here's what we got so far. Very nice. Very nice little cabin. I like it. I hope there's more building options in the future, maybe a little more customization or something. But in the meantime, let's uh store some of this stuff I don't need yet. Uh, I think I'm going to need the planks and the wire. Maybe the rope too. This poisonous mushroom, let's put that away because I can't do anything. I can't eat the beet raw either. Is that what the... Yeah. I can't eat that yet. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with that or the paper. So if we come over here, the first thing I'm going to focus on... Oh, we got enough wire already. Nice. Let's, uh, let's get the crafting room built because then I can build an axe and then we can gather our own sticks and planks a lot easier. Alright, so I need stump moss and uh, some more planks. And I should be able to find those. Actually, let's go back over this way to that little uh, camping ground that we saw and uh, loot the rest of those. There's some... Uh, I th well, actually, I think we got everything because... Until we get the axe, we can't break those crates open. We'll just make sure. I think it's up this way. Really close. Yeah, right up here. Man, just look. Look how nice and relaxing this is. So this will be a first look, depending on how you guys react to it. Uh, if you want to see more, I'll definitely play more. We'll at least kind of go... We'll, we'll kind of... We'll kind of do as much as we can. If I do more, if you guys want to see it, obviously, you know, leave a like and let me know. Comment if you want. 
But, uh, you know, we'll play, we'll kind of see what all we can do, at least for now. And then as updates roll out, we'll kind of check that stuff out. That's kind of how I typically do this. Because sometimes, you know, you, you, you get to a point where there's not really much else to do. So, I, I mean, there's quite a bit of stuff to craft, I could say that. And uh, I, there's stuff that's, like, even when I ch was playing earlier on a separate game, when I was kind of checking it out, I got the uh, crafting room built, and there was stuff that was still locked, but I don't know how you unlock that. I don't know if that's, like, a thing you, like, level up. I don't know what the system is for that, or if it's just stuff that's not unlocked for the early access yet that might be coming in the future. All right, we got to find stumps, because the moss is going to be on stumps. We also need planks. Oh, it's getting dark, actually. We should probably... What the hell was that? That was a noise. I'm not sure what that was. All right. It's getting... Uh, the sun's going down. Oh, up, up in the top right, that'll tell you the time of day. There's no actual numerical time, but it'll tell you based on just symbols. So sun... Uh, sun going down, sun coming up, I think, is one of them, and then, uh, the moon. Oh, look at that bird. It was like a woodpecker or something. Alright, let's just grab stuff on our way back. If we can store it. Even though we don't need any more sticks, might as well just grab them. Yeah, we're getting tired anyways. Look at the damn, uh, the exhaustion level. Probably because I'm sprinting everywhere. Try to cram as much as I can into this video. Alright, let's come in here. Catch some Z's. See the process of what that looks like. Lay down. Alright, day two. I really like the, like, the design. The design, like, in the texts. And, the like, obviously in the graphics and the art style is really awesome. Uh, actually, I need to store some stuff so I can actually loot more. Real quick, let's, um... Let's throw all this crap away. I don't think we need most, most of this stuff right now. Uh, we're gonna be eating these mushrooms. That's our only source of food at the moment. I actually need to eat them right now. Alright, there we go. So we need more planks and moss. So I'm gonna head this way. I think there's... I think this way there's another one of those campsites. We'll go up there and grab everything up there, and then we should have enough after that, I think. See if there's stumps on the way, maybe. So these are mu these are the mushrooms we can eat right here. I can pick up these beets for now, but until I get the cooking station made, I can't do anything with them. Uh, okay, there's a stump. Is there moss on it? No. Darn it. Now look at this. This little river here. Dude, this is chill. I really, you know, as much as I love the, uh, like, the horror survival kind of stuff, or the, uh, the more suspenseful survival, I can really enjoy just, like, kicking back that like escapism you get from something like this man I dig it I dig it a lot alright I think it's right up here somewhere the little campgrounds are uh, so far that's the only thing I've seen as far as like an in like a POI of any kind of sort like a point of interest okay right here here we go it's not like super easy to spot this stuff in the distance it's kind of crazy Alright, got some more wire, some more planks, that's exactly what we need right there. We should be able to find moss soon too, I think, somewhere. We'll figure it out. Alright, now we just need the two moss, so we'll find it. We'll go ahead and get everything that we can right here. We'll have to come back to, like, because right here, for these crates, in case I, I missed it last time, I forgot to say... You have to have a lockpick, so we can't do anything with those yet, so we'll be returning once we get to a point to craft lockpicks. And then, uh, these wood crates over here. These right here, we need an axe. 
So that's the goal right now. We're working on getting the crafting station so we can actually craft the axe. Come back out here, break those open, get some more supplies. Hopefully at some point get uh Is that a rabbit? Yeah, hopefully at some point we'll get the lockpicks crafted. That'd be very nice. Alright, so we're looking for stumps. Oh, come on. I'm sprinting everywhere. I'm going to get super tired probably, but that's okay. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think this game is different, you know what I mean? And different sometimes can be really good. I got a stump up here. There might be some moss on it. I kind of like how how the, the loot or the, anything you can grab. Oh, yeah, moss right here. Perfect. Uh, anything you can actually pick up is kind of highlighted. That makes it super easy. Some, I mean, but at, at the same time, I mean, maybe you don't want it to be super easy. I think maybe you get to a certain point where it's not highlighted like that. Highlit. No, it's highlighted. All right, we need one more stump moss. I'm hoping we don't... Well, you know what? If we come across a bear, I guess we'll find out what happens. But I don't want to lose my loot. I don't know what will happen. But for the sake of the video, it would be cool to see the bear. I've seen a bunch of rabbits and birds so far. All right. I don't see any bears. I think we're safe for now. Ooh, we got a stump. Doesn't look like there's any moss on it. No. Um. I need some more of these, right? Uh, I think that's actually the poisonous one, right? Yeah, chance of poison. Once it's cooked, it's good, but we can't risk it. Eat these ones. Come on, we just need one more stump. One more stump moss. I want to get that crafting room finished, man. I need an axe. Get an axe. We could chop stuff. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Back to the homestead. And you can't jump. Jump a little bit. Oh, here we go. I really like that it marks your base. I can't stand whenever I get lost lost in games. I'm, I'm a horrible navigator. So when when there's no map or compass or anything like that, this is uh, super handy to just mark it like that. Alright, crafting room. Now you get like a full-on expansion to the cabin. Like, look at that. It's super creative, man. I like their approach. I really do. Alright. Now we can look at the stuff we can craft. So here's all the resources we can craft. So can look around sewing thread so I guess we can actually we can craft clothing or, or backpacks maybe at some point we can make reinforced planks for some reason I don't know to reinforce the cabin maybe maybe at some point the animals get more dangerous or something so here's what we need right here uh, I think, did we drop off rope? We might have enough rope already, and we can craft bolts if we don't have them from the, uh, metal pipes we found. We could do a compass. Oh, yeah, you can do a map. Okay. Nice. See, right here, you could do a tent and a campfire. That's kind of cool, because then if you want to go kind of further out, I'm assuming that's where that, that'll come in handy. And we got, looks like a lockpick here. I'm not sure about this thing. I don't know. A fishing pole, maybe? Yeah, that's probably a fishing pole. We could do some fishing. A pickaxe. That's interesting. So if we can mine for actual minerals and... Uh, let's see. Where, what did I see? Glue. So yeah, it looks like lime minerals. Larch resin. Hmm. So I saw lime. I don't know if we can mine for metal. That would be kind of nice. Oh, look, we got decorations. We can decorate the cabin. That's pretty sick. And then a med kit. Looks like we just make bandages, so... Alright, so what, what do we need? What do we need? Jute rope and bolts. Do we got... Oh, we got one. 
I think that's actually... Is that enough? I don't remember what we needed. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Got bolts. What else? What am I lacking? I forgot to mark. So it's saying we don't have any rope. What? Oh, I just... Did I just... I'm dumb, dude. Okay. Oh, well, that's... Yeah, right here. And then bolts. We might actually have exactly what we need. Yeah, we do. Look at the right. Alright, let's craft that axe. Pick it up, and it automatically puts it in our hot bar for this, the number two key. Very nice. Oh, it's, uh... I think it's getting late already, is it? I don't know. Alright, let's mark this one as our active, uh... You know, quest or whatever. We need more planks. We need driftwood. And we need bolts. I don't have any bolts anymore. And I only have two of these pipes. I don't know. I know I can use the pipes to uh, make bolts. I don't know how many they make. I'm assuming just one per pipe. Yeah, I think so. Yep, so one bolt. We can go ahead and do that again, I guess. Why not? All right, now driftwood and planks. We can uh, we can get our own planks now. We got the we got the axe. Let's come over here and chop down this tree. And check it out. Love it. I love the animations where it actually shows the tree, like at least with a cut on it. And the falling down. That's an added added bonus. I like that too. Alright, I think uh, the rest of this stuff, it fell back there. Oh, I can pick it up. Cool. Okay, that's a little glitch. Early access, keep that in mind. Alright, we got four planks. Very nice. We'll go ahead and get our, all our planks gathered. And uh, go back to those places to break open those crates I was talking about. And hopefully have enough to do the cooking station. I haven't done the cooking station yet, so I don't know what what that looks like. So I'll finish getting this wood, and then I'll see you uh, back over at that campsite. All right, I got planks. We're back here at this little campsite that's the one uh, that's really close to our cabin. So we're going to crack open these freaking crates and see if we can hopefully find more, more metal pipes or just bolts. Straight up bolts. All right, we got some rope. I might have to drop something. Let me, I'm going to drop these sticks because I don't need to carry those. Inventory's full already. I really hope we find all the, uh, uh, none of this is stuff we need. At least not right now. Come on, nails. Nails, can I eat this actually? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Pick up those nails then. So we might have to go up to that, uh, other campsite. Oh, here we go, pipe. Uh, what could I drop that I don't need? I'm gonna drop these just because I already have some and I'm... I don't think I'll have a hard time finding those later. Alright, so that'll give me one more bolt if I craft it. Uh, I think that's all the crates in this area that I can actually break with this. Oh no, one more over here? Oh, dude. If, if this is a metal pipe or bolts, I'll be so happy. And it's not. Okay. We're gonna have to, I guess, go to that other site and crack those uh, crates open. Hopefully find what we need. In the meantime, I think we can find our drift, the driftwood along the river. So we'll go over to that and pick that up along the way. Oh, I'm getting tired already, actually, and the sun's going down. I'm going to have to go to sleep again and go, uh, start back on day three. Yeah, we'll do that first thing in the morning. Actually, I don't have really anything to eat. I'm going to have to pick up some mushrooms in the morning. All right, off to bed. Start back at day three. All right, day three, waking up. Uh, you actually have to wait until it's fully nighttime to go to sleep, so I went ahead and, uh, while I was waiting for that last couple seconds, I emptied out some of my inventory again, because I was full. And now I gotta find some food, because I don't have any. Which is, luckily, pretty easy to find food. Look at that little guy. So we'll have to pick up some of these, uh, mushrooms, I guess, on our way over to the river. Actually, I don't see any. Well, hopefully we don't uh, pass out from starvation. Oh, actually, is that berries? 
I think I would think you could eat these, right? Yeah, there we go. That helps. That helps. I see some mushrooms in the distance. So I guess you got to be careful if you eat them raw. You have a chance of getting sick. I don't know what happens. Maybe we'll test that in a little bit and see see what it actually like what actually. I'm assuming probably like most survival games when you do that your uh, character throws up and then you get more hungry. There we go. Oh, I see some driftwood already. Come right over here. There's the driftwood. We'll just kind of stay walking down the river and then pick up two more. We should find along the side pretty easy. Hopefully. Where you at? Come on. Don't make me look foolish. There we go. There's one. So all I need is one more bolt after this. Where's all the driftwood, man? You would think it'd be uh, just all gathered around this area. But maybe not. I might have to go up the river a little bit to grab that. Alright, I'm going to find another piece of driftwood, then off to that campsite. Alright, we're back to the second little location. Break open these crates, hope that we get the bolts we need, get the cooking station made. Oh, what's that? A map hint? Craft a map to view hint. Oh. A large tree's map hint. So that's cool. So you can find hints and stuff. I didn't know that. That's pretty awesome. Oh no. I keep hitting leave thinking that's gonna like take all. Oh yeah, bolts, perfect. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff. We'll go back and uh, craft that cook station because I have a feeling that's gonna help us quite a bit. Oh, and a steel pipe, dude, where were you? I actually need to eat, what, which one of these? Yeah, there we go. Oh, at least I got it now. So I'll have that to uh, use for the future. Oh, and more bolts. Perfect. Set up for success. I don't know if the uh, loot is randomized. Honestly, I'm not sure. Oh, more bolts. This is like, I should have just come up here, huh? Here's these mushrooms too. I don't know, can I, are these uh, dotty mushrooms? So these are the ones that are also poisonous. So I gotta be careful. Definitely gotta cook those. All right, back to the camp. We'll get that cook station made, see what that looks like. See what kind of stuff we can cook. I know this game is, uh, it, this video seems rushed. I just want to get as much into this first episode as I can so we can kind of all get this first look of it. And then uh, go. And then, you know, from here it can be a little bit drawn out, I guess. A little bit slower paced. But like I said, probably more editing. So uh, more kind of highlights maybe to a degree, doing specific things. We'll see. We'll see all the stuff we can do. It might be kind of a game that you don't necessarily do a huge series on just because there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of content yet. So we'll kind of do some exploring and craft what we can and then go from there. Like I said, if they add, if they start adding more stuff with the upcoming updates that make it a little bit more interesting to watch, I think it'll be still fun and interesting and enjoyable to play. I just don't know if watching it be played will be as fun until some more stuff is added. But we'll see. It's also, you know, whatever you guys think, obviously. I aim to uh, to entertain, you know? Oh, my inventory is full. I'm really curious to see what I can cook. Like if it's just uh, single ingredient type things or if I can make bigger recipes. I don't know. I right, hear bees, man. Thank God they don't attack. I don't need that moss right now. Can I get... Is there a way to get through this? Just go around it. Oh, look at that. There's a deer. Oh, that's so cool. His head is kind of glitching or something, but... That's okay. Kind of... Well, with it glitching like that, it's a little creepy. I'm not going to lie. I think that's just... A graphical error, but... Yeah. 
I was thinking when I was walking through too. Dude, if they ever decided to take like a, a suspenseful horror kind of direction with this, even if it was optional. Dude, could you imagine just seeing silhouettes and like random dudes or random creatures just in the distance? How creepy would that be? Like if you saw a Slenderman like figure just in the distance? Or like Siren Head? Oh, I'm starving. Holy crap. I didn't even notice. Why didn't you guys tell me? It's because I'm sprinting everywhere. Alright, cook station. Build. Here we go. Oh, we got, we can make a greenhouse? Oh, that's sick. Okay. So we can attach a greenhouse to this. What can we cook? Let me get these other ingredients I got. Uh, these and... Just pick up all the food stuff I got, I guess. Oh, so you can... You can legit just cook stuff. Like... Interesting. Does, is that just gonna cook all those individually, though? Oh, I gotta fill this with sticks. Uh... Do I still have sticks? Yeah, I do. I keep looking at the wrong things. Alright, there's some sticks. Dude, that's... This game is nice. I like this a lot. Sorry for the lag. I don't know what that's about. But... I like this a lot. I think that's a good start. Cook station, crafting station, axe, a little bit of exploration. Stay tuned, we're gonna do some more exploring. And uh, some more building, hopefully. If we can get this stuff crafted. What's the next thing? We gotta do a storage? A storage attic? I think it, uh, we could probably do that fairly soon. That's gonna, that's gonna be next. We'll do a... Uh, We'll do that. I know I have the nails and the wire, I'm pretty sure. I think I have the nails. Oh, three nails, okay. And then uh, I'll just have to get planks for that. So we could probably do that pretty easy. I can make nails from steel wire. So yeah, we could definitely do that. Actually, you know what? No, we'll do that next episode. So tune into that. Let me know what you think of this game. I like it. Very cool. Go check it out. I think it's on sale right now, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it's still going to be affordable because it's early access on Epic Game Store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.